How serendipitous that you have come to our aid. I am relieved that I wasn't too late. I do hope my presence proved useful. No doubt about it. We needed the backup. Professor, I do believe this is the first time our paths have crossed, is it not? Of course, I have heard all about you from Her Grace, the Archbishop. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Elfric. The Church has granted me custodianship of Abyss. The pleasure is all mine. I am sure you have already been told about Abyss's unique situation. For varying reasons, all of the inhabitants here are unable to live a peaceful life on the surface. People like the Dagdens and Almyrans, who suffer undue persecution across Fodlin. The poor and the sick, who are forced into Abyss. Not to mention all the other unfortunate souls who ended up here. I believe it is my sacred duty to provide a place for those who have nowhere else to go. Right. And the poor and sick living in a sunless crypt helps them... how? Enough, Claude. Please, forgive my friend, Elfric. We would love to hear more. In all honesty, I understand his concern. I dearly wish I could provide a better life for my flock. But it would appear that Her Grace and most of the Church consider the existence of Abyss to be... something of a nuisance. I'm afraid so. Those within the Church who would see Abyss purged are swiftly growing in number. That's the Church for you. They make a big deal out of helping the helpless, when it suits them. We can't just sit back and accept the way things are. We've got to fight the system. Sure, I'm here to hide from literally countless bounty hunters, but I'm not the only one in need. You're in a bad way too, Happy. We can't just let the church walk all over us. Too true. For the sake of all who dwell in Abyss, we must help dear Elfric to turn the tide. I am overwhelmed with gratitude. Your fervent support is all the reward I could ask for. As for you, Professor, I must beg a favor of you. The Ashen Wolves are a house in name alone. They are eager students with no teacher to guide them. If you could find it in your heart to take them under your wing, I would be most grateful. Naturally, your official duties take precedence, so you need only help out when your schedule allows. Wait a minute, Alfric. Where's this nonsense coming from? I second that question. We have no need of a professor when we have you. Dear Flock, I am a mere guardian. I can protect you, but I cannot enrich your minds. Though I call this gathering an academy house, I have long lamented that it isn't truly so. Now, I am blessed with the opportunity to correct this. The professor who stands before you has garnered a great deal of acclaim on the surface. A most trustworthy and esteemed teacher, to say the least. What's more, I happen to be addicted with the father of this fine individual. I met Gerald back when he was a knight. I was born and raised in Garrick Mach, so I often had the opportunity to spend time with him. Uh, your mother as well. She was a cherished friend of mine. I was even present for their wedding. With parents like yours, I have no doubt that you possess the kindness and patience necessary to guide these students. But... It'll be fine. It's not like we're strangers anymore. Say, Alfric. Don't you need to take care of those thieves? Ah, right you are. Please, excuse me. Oh, and one more thing, Professor. If ever you would like to hear more about your parents, I would be delighted to share my memories with you. Cindered Shadows, The Rite of Rising Ah, Professor, to what do I owe this pleasure? Ah, yes, of course you do. I will gladly tell you all that I know. Where to begin? If you have something particular in mind, Please ask, and I shall answer as best I can. Kind, 
and wise. I would often see her in the library, her nose always buried in a book. Gerald was very much then as he is now. His knights would have done just about anything for him. Whenever he had time to spare, he would instruct the children of the monastery in combat and tactics. Just like those wide-eyed youngsters, your mother and I made a hero of him in our minds. When I learned that Geralt and Citri were to be married, I was quite surprised. Back then, Geralt was something of a mentor to me. As for Citri, she found it difficult to express her emotions. It was only when she was gazing at Geralt that I ever saw her smile. A smile that rivaled the very sun. His tales of the outside world must have seemed like a lifeline for one as frail and guarded as she. Indeed, she lacked the strength to travel beyond the monastery. The only souls she ever spoke with were a select few within the monastery walls. I can picture it now. The stories he told her, his striking words, and his boisterous laugh. Listening to him must have given her a great deal of hope. As for me, I could never have become like Gerald, as much as I wished for it. <sighs> I suppose I did. He would tell stories from a century ago as though he had lived them himself. No matter how fervently one studies the stories of old, that is no easy task. Professor, you traveled with Gerald before coming here. You must have seen a great many things, yes? Forgive me for overstepping, but do you not regret foregoing your travels to take up residence here? <laughs> well then, I suppose I have no choice but to assist you as best I can. To shape young minds must afford you a unique perspective on the world. I am certain my unsolicited advice is nothing but a nuisance, but please, hear me out. It is my hope that you will live a full life, experiencing the world, fostering strong relationships with people. Do so for dear Citri, whose wish to experience such things shall regretfully never be granted. I cannot deny it. It is my own stubborn notion, one that her grace will likely not think kindly of. Beyond my personal motive, I believe that you alone can guide my flock to even greater heights. And perhaps you will learn from them as well. Ah, but I have taken enough of your precious time. Know that I am here for you. Always. tell Yuri, did those foul bandits whom we bested at the arena confess to anything? Not a word. And they wouldn't name names. I got the feeling they didn't know much themselves. However, one thing is clear. Whoever hired them is after something here in Abyss. Yeah, that's gotta be it. They must have been on a treasure hunt or something. A treasure hunt here? I don't get it. What is there to find in these dingy tunnels? Belfric, was it? Looks like this is ringing a bell for you. Well, something does come to mind, but the notion is preposterous at best. Never discount a wild hunch. Sometimes they're closer to the truth than you'd think. Any lead will do, so long as it helps determine our next course of action. Please, go on. As you wish. Though, again, it is quite far-fetched. You see, there is a long-standing legend here. It is said that deep underground, below even abyss, is a place called the Chasm of the Bound, wherein lies the Chalice of Beginnings. Huh. This is the first I've heard of it. So you believe abyss is connected to that place? Lots of twists and turns down here, so it's not the craziest idea ever. Must be well hidden, though. I once happened upon an old document, that mentioned a ritual called the Rite of Rising. The text was incomplete, so I was unable to achieve a full understanding of the topic. I cannot even guarantee the authenticity of what I read. But it stated that the Chalice of Beginnings is a sacred object, crafted by order of Saint Seros herself. 
Saint Seros apparently used the artifact to carry out the Rite of Rising, along with the Four Apostles. I vaguely recall reading about the Four Apostles. They were saints, and that's about all anyone knows. Hardly any records of them remain. Few alive even know their names, but these Apostles supposedly assisted the Four Saints with their holy work. It is also believed that Saint Seros attempted to perform a resurrection using the chalice. However, the ritual failed. The four apostles bound the chalice, so that it would never fall into a mortal's hands. The Rite of Rising, huh? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes! The Chalice of Legend! My father mentioned it to me a very long time ago. A secret treasure of the Church. A chalice, powerful enough to resurrect the dead! Exhilarating, no? Quite. It is no small wonder that people are after it. Even so, we still don't have much to go on. We must gather more information about this legend at once. I wholeheartedly agree. I will do all I can to track down more clues within the monastery. Although Garrick Mach's library is so... well curated, I doubt any further records will be found. Wondrous! We shall do all that we can as well! Excuse me. I've only had the chance to speak with Elfric briefly, but he seems like a respectable man. It's obvious the whole town has a lot of affection for him. Kind of reminds me of Lenato in that way. Hey! I've got a lot of time on my hands down here, so I've been venturing deeper underground. This place is loaded with winding paths and blocked off tunnels. It's a real maze. Only a few folks even know how to operate the gate mechanisms and hidden passages. That's what I said. Activate the mechanism and the gate slams shut. Bang! Actually, I'll level with you. Urian constants are much better at scoping out that kind of thing. <laughs> the Ashen Wolves got their name from the beasts who guard the Blue Sea Star. The Archbishop named the house herself, in fact. In spite of that, it seems she looks unfavorably upon our house of late. This saddens me greatly. Wow. I heard Elfric came to Yuri's rescue in the attack that happened recently. That's just what you'd expect from someone as kind and strong as he is. Believe he's single. Head in here, Professor? It's a fortune teller's room. Judging by all her mystical looking doodads, I think she's the real deal, too. I wonder if she does matchmaking. Maybe she can help me sort through my countless suitors. Alfred gives out candy. Stick close by him, and you might get some too. But save a little for me, okay? Well, I'll be. But this is a sprawling place. Some houses, like mine, are actually quite far from the center of town. What brings me all the way here, then, you ask? I came to see Elfric. 
Even a glimpse of him is said to bring good luck. Hey there. Come back anytime. Welcome. Please come again. Welcome. Will this one do? Many thanks. 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 Come back soon. Hey there. Come back anytime. Oh my. You've only been on the job a few moons, huh? No wonder you don't come off as a mindless church flunky. Plus, you don't flap your trap all the time. I appreciate that. I hope you never change, no matter how many years you spend with the annoying people up there. The folks have lost their homes on the surface. Abyss is all they've got. The place used to be nothing more than a den of criminals who did whatever they please. Now, we got Elfric to keep an eye on things. He understands that keeping people fed's the way to keep them calm. Hey. hey. Don't suppose you're here for a drink, huh? They aren't any better, I'll tell you right now. Maybe folks down here wouldn't be so awful if they could get their hands on something worth tasting. Kidding. Nobles are just as bad. Professor! Hey, you. I've got something to report. The bandit sightings have stopped, for now. I still won't let my guard down, though. What else? Notice how everyone's in high spirits? Know why? I do. It's because Master Elfric is here. He's real special, that one. He saved my life and lots of others here, too. He's earned some hero worship. Four apostles. God, this is killing me. I'm on the verge of remembering something. I can't shake the feeling that one of their names is also a food or something. The record should be here some... Oh, <laughs> hello, Professor. It's good that you've come. I realized that I missed an opportunity to congratulate myself on my military achievements. But now that you're here, I have an audience for it. Indulge me, won't you? Oh, <laughs> behold, the proof that the utmost honor in combat belongs to none other than I, Constance Von Nouvelle. What a relief to get that off my chest. Now, where did Elfric get to? I must have words with him. Professor. Well, well, the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the next Sovereign Duke. Must be exhausting trying to suss out each other's intentions, huh? Nah, we get along great. I mean, we kind of have no choice. A petty squabble could start an all-out war. And it doesn't take a fancy title to have a hidden agenda. Isn't that right, Yuri? Cheeky. And off base. What do you think, friend? Do you think I'm off plotting nefarious deeds? <laughs> Not very perceptive, are we? Even so, that's a bit much, wouldn't you say? I do what I need to get by. Nothing more than that. As for the others, they've all got their own struggles. But they're nothing if not trustworthy. Humbling yourself while promoting... Gotta say, I don't hate this side of you. Seems we're in mutual neutrality of one another. I like that you keep your cards close. We'll get along just fine, you and I. Pardon the odd question, but something has been bothering me for a while now. Your hair. Was it always that color? That is an odd question. But yes, if you must know, it was a different color when I was a child. How could you know that? 
Is it possible that we met before the Academy? It's a long story. Now is not the time or place. Yes, of course. My apologies. Hey, you. There was a time when I did much fighting. Then I was captured. Then I escaped. My home is far away now. My mother is waiting for me. But returning is... It is far away. I worry that I will be here until I am very old. The answer is no. I will not allow it. It is far too dangerous. Ah, but if we can determine its origin, we may eliminate the very danger that vexes you. You already know this, but there are plenty of folks down here who can't defend themselves. If these attacks keep up, eventually they'll find themselves in harm's way. <sighs> yes, I am aware. However, for the time being, you must promise to refrain from acting recklessly. My dear Fluck has suffered enough as it is. You needn't take any further risks. Surprisingly overbearing, isn't he? He must really care about you guys. Most certainly. Yet, if we fail to nip this problem in the bud, I shudder to think what will transpire. Aha! It's you! In the nick of time, as it were. Come. Let us venture into the deep, deep underground. The chalice of legend awaits! But of course, deeper and deeper still beneath the monastery, to the chasm of the bound. Coco, you didn't hear a word Elpi said, did you? I surely did, but we must read between the lines. Elfric wants a solution as badly as we do. And so, we shall seek out the Chalice of Beginnings and present it to the Church. If our enemies desire the object, this should halt all future attacks on Abyss. <laughs> Brilliant, no? I'm not so sure about that. According to legend, there's some kind of binding that protects it from would-be thieves. Even if we find it, we can't just walk up and take it unless we figure out how to break that thing. Ah, but that is simplicity itself. We shall first ascertain whether it is still bound, and then we shall release it. But where is this chasm, anyway? I've never even heard of the place, much less seen it. Abbot, I have discovered yet another secret passage. It appears to go deep underground. According to my superior instincts, it undoubtedly leads to the chasm of the bound. Huh. I suppose it's worth a look. I don't care about finding some old cup, but if it could help us protect the best, I'll support the cause. You surface dwellers do not have anything else to do at present, do you? You'll assist us, will you not? I don't have anything scheduled before my next nap, so I guess that's fine. Edelgard doesn't look too thrilled, though. <laughs> Splendid! It is decided. We leave at once. Feeling pretty lost right now. How long have we been walking? I'm guessing a full week. A week? Ridiculous. It's been a few hours at most. Exaggerations aside, if this takes much longer, I'm concerned about our lack of food and water. She's got a point. How about we trek a bit farther, and if we don't find anything, we turn back? Constance, I find it rather curious how quickly you became fixated on the chalice. Care to explain? Oh, I... No. Why would I be fixated on a silly little legend for some silly ulterior motive? <laughs> <laughs> you want the esteem. You think this will convince the church to help you restore your fallen house. Oh, how could you possibly know that? <gasps> Have you been snooping within the confines of my very mind? 
I shall restore House Nouvelle to its former glory at all costs. <laughs> it's practically a catchphrase. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. Constance is the former lady of House Nouvelle. Until just a few years ago, it was a house of Viscounts in the west of the Empire. They had a long and distinguished history. House Nouvelle lost its status five years ago, as a result of their part in the war. Huh. You speak as though it has nothing to do with you. I fear all I can do is ask forgiveness in place of my useless father. If doing so will comfort you in any way, then please accept my... Save your breath. That will not be necessary. There is only one thing that I desire. For the sake of my parents, who fell courageously and selflessly in defense of the Empire. For them, I shall restore our status, revive House Nouvelle, and return it to its former glory. All that I do, even spending each day advancing my magical prowess, is to that end. And in reward for all that hard work, you were forced to live underground. Life's cruel. It's like you took a shortcut back to the starting line. Or maybe you're just unlucky. What are you saying? I never intended to share that side of me with you. Look at that. It's a good thing we didn't turn back. That looks mighty chasm-like if you ask me. Say, are we beneath the bridge in the monastery? Incredible. Huh. I never thought I'd be gazing up at that bridge we've crossed a thousand times from way, way down below. Are we sure this is the right place? It is. I think. I believe. I hope. Constance, why are you hiding in the shade? Aren't you the one who insisted that we find the chalice? <sighs> Fine. If you insist that I join you, then I shall. Satisfied? Oh my, I was quite rude just now. Please accept my humble apologies for treating you so foully. I presume too much to stand beside such noble paragons. Allow me to dig a hole to bury myself in. Uh, no matter how deep underground we are, I guess sunlight is still sunlight. Poor Constance. This is what Coco is like in the sun. That's why she lives underground. I fear I can see that this is the chasm of the bound. I have almost surely wasted our time. Enough with the self-doubt, yeah? Just put one foot in front of the other. We'll have you back in the shadows before you know it. Cheer up, Coco. We need you. And now I have forced you into a state of pity. I feel so very worthless. I admit. I have never seen anything quite like this before. Is there nothing we can do to help? Happy? Keep Constance moving. If we don't searching, we'll never find that damn chalice. Fine, I'll just push her a bit, I guess. I must ask you to cease. You shall soil your hands upon my filthy back. No soap could possibly... Huh? This feeling. I sense magic in the air. There is something just ahead. The binding spell, perhaps. I don't feel anything at all. Wait. Actually, I hear something. Something big. And it's moving. Perhaps there is something in place that is guarding the chalice. Yikes. What is that thing? It's like some kind of gigantic toy. I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But I know it doesn't bode well. I don't know. Could be fun. It's been a while since I've met an enemy that can put up a good fight. Hey, you! It's your master, pal. I'm gonna pummel you into my own personal shield.
What's the deal? No matter how many we squash, more just take their place. Hmm. If those things were to protect the chalice, there must be a way to deactivate them. If I may presume to offer my opinion, the statues may warrant scrutiny. Hmm. There must be a way to activate those things. I bet they require some type of key. You who befoul this sacred place, leave now or perish. Sacred place? Sounds like a chasm of the bound, all right. I think I might have found the key. That thing over there is carrying it around. Give it my all. and willing. Stay focused. Cut through. Who's next? I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. Sure thing. I will prevail. Ugh. Battle. Yep. Thanks.
doing? Not too shabby. already. Face it, I'm better than you. that a weakling to their demise. I pale in comparison to my allies. Next, I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. He is 
against that all. Don't forget who you're dealing with. I'll never be satisfied. I'm at my limit. choice but to admit defeat. Stay focused. Ready and willing. I'm at 
at my limit. I'll give it my all. Who, me? Let me at him. Oh, nice! <laughs> Battle. I will prevail. Yep. A great help. The sun. May my foes someday forgive me. Sure thing. Delicate flower, you know. Caution. Thank you. 
a long road yet. Cut through. Sweat was worth it. Huh. There's clearly something special about this key. Better keep it safe. left to go. and willing.
I'll give it my all. So far. I'll cut through. Progress suits me well. Stay focused. dwells within? Who, me? Sure thing. Too shabby. Now that feels good. The sun. I sped a week into their demise. Such a small change truly an improvement?
gone? That can't be right. prevail. Perhaps it's time for a nice nap. A shame of defeat. Easy. 
Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Now I'm even tougher. Perhaps I should retreat? Sure thing. <laughs> Who's next? Give it my all. Ready and willing. I'll cut through. I must stay focused. Break. Careful now. Sure, pal. Never had a chance. I will get stronger yet.
stay focused. Use caution. Never underestimate an outsider. Life doesn't always go as planned. Take it easy. Face it, I'm better than you. Now that feels good. I sped a weakling to their demise.
Who, me? Delicate flower, you know. Sweat was worth it. Do our part. My foes someday forgive me. Doubtless this is a temporary game.
Sorry, but victory is mine. I'll cut through. Well done. Failure to use caution is most regrettable. I'm certainly paying the price for it now. Ugh. One key, multiple keyholes. Must be a fellow schemer. Agreed. This is just the sort of trap your crafty brain would dream up. a week into their demise. Yes. one's a trap too how are we supposed to tell them apart only one left hopefully we can finally put a stop to this madness thank you Thank you. 
Never underestimate an outsider. Piece of cake. Life doesn't always go as planned. Careful! That was tough. I'm starting to see results. Ready and willing. Close call, but we did it. Our efforts paid off. <laughs> drawn on the rock over there. They look like crests. Whoa, what's going on? My crest. Oh, but look at the stone. There's light streaming from it. <laughs> 